It's been a long time. I feel quite hungry. I know, Henry. <sighs> Gosh, it's so pretty. I can't wait to get completely lost in this world again. It's going to be so awesome. But also, it's going to be hardcore <laughs> and really scary. You died. The Grim Reaper came to take you away. But I'm not dead yet. I feel happy. Yay! <laughs> Third time's a charm. I survived. Well, unfortunately for Henry, we are selecting all of these negative traits. Fine state you're in this morning. Hey, Mom. What on earth did you get up to last night? Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. <laughs> no joke. My actual stomach in real life growled when Henry said that line. <laughs> All right. So here we are in hardcore Kingdom Come Deliverance. Oh, boy. I'm very nervous because this playthrough... <sighs> it's going to be a doozy. It's been a long so time. I know, Henry. I know. It's been a long time since I played this game it in any like uh, extensive capacity. So my skills right now with the game are quite low and I'm gonna need to practice things like the combat. And so it's gonna be a big challenge for me, not only relearning how to play the game, but also trying not to die in hardcore mode and trying to complete the game. There's no autosave. You can only save by drinking schnapps. Current health and stamina are indicated only by the in-game effects that you see. Oh, right. We can't even see our health and stamina. Oh, God. I forgot about that. It'd be so hard. You can also make use of health potions and food, but they take longer to take effect. Henry's position is not shown on the map, and there are no waypoints. Waypoints are shown on the compass, but only when you get close enough. Fast travel is not possible in hardcore mode. And monetary rewards in general are lower. While on the contrary, extensive repairs are more costly, and drawbacks of using damage equipment or fighting more than one foe at a time is also more dangerous because they will take greater advantage of their numbers. I'm going to be awful at this you guys oh my goodness i'm i am gonna be terrible i hope i don't die immediately i'm very worried i actually forgot how tough hardcore act hard hardcore hardcore mode actually is i don't even get to see my health does it make you i parted with one carrot i got a boiled carrot does it do more hungries 2.5 versus two <laughs> barely but yeah that's that's worth noting okay so we can cook things to make them more delicious what's the matter with you hey father didn't you hear me calling you no i had to do something father sorry i had to go and deal with something well it's no great tragedy kunesh still owes me for an axe a hammer and the nails i sold him a month ago run along now work won't wait all right, Dad, I'll run all your errands for you because I am a great son. But first, I must do some things. So also, please, please, please give me all of the tips and all of the hints and whatever you guys want to just backseat up the wazoo in the comments, okay? Because uh, I will likely be using, like, if you have a fun cheesy thing that I can do that I don't know about or you know some kind of little exploit that I could use I am all for that okay because I really want to take this seriously and try not to die and I will I will take advantage of the game to do that I'm also going to enjoy the game a lot and I'm going to try to take it take it slow and just enjoy it but at the same time I want to have a lot of fun <laughs> you know hello Kunish. Okay, wait, actually, do I have, isn't, doesn't mom have some schnapps? So here's what I'm thinking for this series, you guys. Uh, each episode's probably gonna be pretty lengthy, depending on what I wanna get done for the day, but I'm gonna aim for releasing one of these videos a week. Nails, bandage, mirror, okay, yeah, she does have some schnapps. Three schnapps, three, three schnapps. I'm gonna aim for releasing one of these videos a week because they're gonna be longer. And I also have a couple of other things that are gonna be going on, going on on the channel alongside this. But this is gonna be the current long running series for a while until we're done with it. So sit back and enjoy the hardcore and hopefully, uh, oh, I have brittle bones. Don't be doing anything uh, scary there, Henry. 
So I got a plan where I'm going to use this schnapps because once I make a little progress, I'll probably use it. It's charcoal burner. We need to buy the charcoal. We currently don't have any money. God be with you, Henry. Thank you. All right. Well, I got his axe. <laughs> God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? Um... Father sent me for money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Pay for the tools at least. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. You can't, because I took the axe. Debts, debts must be paid. Look, I know things aren't easy. Your wife ran off. Booze is dear these days, and you're as much use as a square wheel. <laughs> it's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. If I had anything to give, I'd give it. Oh. I've got nothing, so leave me in peace, all of you. And don't come back. I didn't think I was actually going to succeed. Try to get it another way. Okay. Now you got me bloody mad! <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna have to reload. Well, uh, well let's uh, practice some hand-to-hands. Uh, Kune Kunesh is actually, um... He's not... He's not... Come and fight. get it! Even... Uh, when I'm, I'm even without my uh, many debuffs. Oh, you know what? I was just thinking. Uh... Ha -ha. I can't die, so... Uh, this is... This is not good. <sighs> Is he gonna actually kill me? He will, won't he? Unlock. Unlock. Okay. Will people will people help me? Help! Help! Go to mommy. Oh. Yeah. Mommy! Help! <laughs> mommy! Mommy! Daddy! Help me! Can I surrender? Can I surrender? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I forgot we can surrender. Mommy, help me! <laughs> ah, ma! I, I'm hurt. You won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. If we didn't have all the negative perks, we would probably have gotten at least a skill point doing that, but <clears throat> it was not to be. Now, I know you can knock this guy out, and I know you can knock this guy out but it's risky though I could definitely get caught I don't know if it's worth it it might be worth it is it worth it I don't know now's my chance All right, we got, we did it. We did it. Um, loot. Steal all. Yes. Got him. Okay, he's not dead. He's just knocked out. It's fine. Nobody saw me do that. Will I get in trouble? These are Kunish's chickens. Delicious dinner. a bit bad but you know not I don't feel that bad I'll leave one chicken alive all right Kunesh is sitting down now but he's not in a good place and I believe he does have his keys on him is that mom mother be with you. can I afford 10 jargle Yes, I can. Sword fighting lesson. Pick up the cross guard by... Okay, let's get the ale at the tavern. Do we have enough to get that still? Ding, there's me friends over there. You can't be serious, Deutsch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. 
had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Kutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitors. Now even the Pope be with is you, Henry. Oh, oh, you politics. What's going on here? Deutsches spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the He Austrians? scared the chickens. And nowadays not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. Man, yeah, man. Exactly. Politics are so blue. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he, Fritz? You're too I Matthew. you. You should give him a proper hiding. <sighs> are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge parlementure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, <laughs> I'd rather touch it, to be honest. But oh, geez. doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Saratik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? Or against us? That's a nice looking house. Discuss the plan of attack. So are we doing this or not? Wait! We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? The Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, isn't Matthew the clever one? <laughs> what do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the popes! He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. <laughs> Hasn't been the first time, I guess, huh? That was easy. Okay. What am I using? Oh, that's the food, right? All right. Let's do it. Gross. At least let Fritz go first. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the trebuchet! Yeah. For king and country! For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. Dirty fun, actually. <laughs> Eat shit, doshas. You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse hunt! Let's make those smites off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Ooh! <laughs> bullseye! <laughs> Fucker! I'll make you pay for that! Bishek. We've got a long future ahead of him. Alright. 
No, I'm not trying to fight you. What the heck? No. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Go after Fritz, please. Go after Fritz. Not me, please. What? Fritz is the troublemaker, not me. There we go. Okay. All right, you're done. Can I still punch you? What are you doing? For God's sake! Stop right now! Oh. The catchpole is on his way. <clears throat> catchpole's on his way. Everybody, run! God be with you, Henry. It's fine. We're just gonna go over here. Come on, friends. Man, I'm already noticing these negative perks kind of suck. <laughs> it's not very fun. Hello, cow. Can we can we attack the cow for some skills? Nobody's here. Will I get in trouble? Bad. I just have to know. I have to know if I can get skills. Ugh. Well, if you're just gonna run away all the time. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway. What can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. Never a dull moment with you lot. I could attack Kunesh with an axe and probably win, because he doesn't have a weapon. And that could be a way. Wow, he has nothing. He wasn't kidding. He really wasn't kidding. He's got nothing. Hmm. Uh, scars, uh, blood, uh. You get in the water so you can wash yourself off. I took his axe, so maybe he's not gonna do his normal thing. Act trouble. Oh, it actually worked. Heck yeah! There we go. Heck yeah! All right, he's got. He doesn't know. Okay, now we can take all of his stuff. There's the hammer and there's the nails. Yo! And then we'll eat his soup too. Because we can. <laughs> Yay! I did it! Okay, now we just need the. The, 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 the ale? Need the ale and then we're good? Oh yeah, we gotta pick up the sword as well. It's a lot of errands. Doo -doo -doo. Hey, hey, hey. I'm glad you came. What's up, guys? Everything for the house. Garden and field. Nine and God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Beer. Just ale. What else could I expect from a village lout? <laughs> what will it be then, ragamuffin? <laughs> uh, do you sell schnapps? You do sell schnapps. However, it's too expensive for me as I only have not any money. <laughs> I wish she would buy like stolen stuff because she loves me, but you know. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanyak. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite. Oh, yes. Save your schnapps. Really? You're an angel. 
<laughs> Heck yeah. I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. Yeah, yeah, I get it. We're gonna bang. Jeez. Five? Oh, that is amazing. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. Mm -hmm. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. Be careful what you wish for, Henry. A dangerous place, and I need to know how to protect myself. That's true. Looking like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? <laughs> get stuck in. Yes. Yeah, stick the sword right in All me. Right. That'll give me I'll some experience. By the it's funny because, like, I, I am really having to change the way that I play and the decisions that I make now that I've limited myself to three deaths. Because I was originally planning to really kind of abuse the two, the prologue and get as much as I could before leaving. But now I'm kind of just, I'm worried because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to die or whatever. <laughs> so, sheeps. I wonder if I can hit the sheeps for experience. <laughs> it sucks because with all these debuffs, I don't level up very quickly. So I can't really tell. Um, but we did get a main level. So, my god. <laughs> no, I don't. I think I might save this point. Just because none of those really seem super good. By the way, if you guys know of any perks that I should really go for for hardcore mode, let me know as well. It's gonna be a good idea. Well, I, uh, <laughs> well, I'm drunk, but no. So, can we get started? Yes, we can. We can. Oh, now you're getting it. Very good. Nice. Very good. Good. Once again. We did the it. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Do that one and this one. And poke. Good. Once again. Poke. Now you're getting it. Okay, now we need some stamina back. Now you're getting it. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. I thought we were able to practice more with him. That's why I saved first, but oh well. The sheeps are getting split up, oh no! Okay. These are, these sheep are actually very good at survival. <laughs> They're actually very good at surviving. Sheep. Are you dead? No. Okay, I don't feel bad as bad now that it's now that I know it's like so glitchy. Okay. Maybe we can't kill them? I I don't know. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. Well I better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. We have completed all of our errands, and now we can talk to Father. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sassel did for us. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. Pretty. What does the inscription mean? Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier. 
and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologise to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and what? You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. I need gloves. It makes me nervous. Good. Henry doesn't Once have more. gloves. Dad has gloves that Henry doesn't. Uh, that's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. No, they're not, Dad. They're in my pocket. Henry, are you all right? <laughs> Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly Henry, beautiful. What are you waiting for? Bring those... I already did, Dad. <laughs> if 
fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? Then try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. He certainly will. His limp lip sync was very bad. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. I forgot that guy's name. It's been an honor, Sir Ispan. It's been Ispan. Have a safe journey to Sasso. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Huh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets, here beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. Here we go. A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? happened. <laughs> Hello, Baldy. Oh, man, imagine seeing that. Like, just living your life peaceful-like and all of a sudden... Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! What about you? 
I bet now he wishes he taught him how to use a sword. <clears throat> Mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No. You do what I say oh, right I now. Hate this part Give the sword to surrender. If anything happens, we'll take care of you. He owes me. I haven't seen this in so long. Quickly! We have to close the gates! Move! Come on, we're closing! Move in, people! Come on! Come out on! Out time. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! We have to shut the Get gates! Get running, people! Come on! Mind this for me! Are you mad? You can't go back! Man, that made me tear up. I know there's a human that's going to attack me, so hold on just a second. And I don't think the game saved either. Right? I don't think there was a save, so I better save now. Ugh, man, I don't think I cried at that point the first time I played. It just goes to show how much I've changed and matured since I played this the first time. And like, ugh, I don't know. It's crazy, but it's just that they do such a good job with it, that whole introduction, and it's just, it's so dark and depressing and, and emotional that it's it's hard to not, like, get all teared up by it, especially because it's been so long since I've seen it, you know? But anyway, let's save the game. <laughs> and now we're in it! Now we're in it to win it. Hey! Or not win it. Yeah, run. Okay, so this, now it's very dangerous, right? So we have the sword though. Good. All right, also we have brittle bones, so let's not fall off any ledges. Now, I think what we should do is try and stealth as soon as possible. Oh, frick. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> oh boy. 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 I need to get I need to get off of the road. Don't touch me or I'll kill you. Go to hell, you turtle beast. 
Sorry, lady, I'm not saving you. Ah! Ah! Oh, for oh no! Oh no! Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So there was an invisible wall over the over that little moat so I couldn't go that way and um Well, that was fast. <laughs> that counts, right? Maybe I should have given myself, like, a little bit of leeway for the prologue. That might be the horse I'm supposed to get. Oh boy. Yes, okay. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Or I'll kill you. Excuse. Okay, there's another horse. So there's just a bunch of horses that you can get along this road. Okay. I'm just gonna make a straight shot. I can't risk any more. There's another one. I can't risk any more deaths. Um, this is this makes me very very scared. <laughs> Oh no! Owie! Oh well, here we go. Go! I'm bleeding. Of course. Shot right in the leg! Okay, Henry, we can do this. Still firing at me. Stop it! It's very rude. Is my horse missing? Go! I'll kill you all. I feel like my horse is missing some hoof, some running sound effects. But maybe I'm wrong. He's running very silently. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we can't really afford to. Ah! Yeah. We cannot afford to stop. I don't know what you want me to do. You literally cannot stop. Yeah. Okay, maybe we'll be okay. We just go like one, one speed temporarily. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be great if they ended up Run killing me again here? <laughs> uh, my health is very low. I can see blood on the screen. I can definitely see blood on the screen. Hopefully it's not too much farther. I'm bleeding as well for my lovely perks. Watch out, dude! There's like 20 Cubans behind me. My tummy is growling. I'm having a bad day. <laughs> they were right on my butt. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. <laughs> okay. Wow. Are the enemies also a lot smarter in this mode? Oh my god. I feel like they must be, huh? Quickly, everyone! Get your asses here! Hey! And... Loose! Be gone! Be gone! Hide your horses in there! They're turning tail! How can they tell that he's a friend? I mean, he's, he's so far away.
Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Hot wine. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that arrow out. Ow. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. <laughs> Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? Sir, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Man, this game is getting me all up in the feels. Stop a game! But also, look at the beautiful wall decoration. It's so pretty. I was supposed to... Follow a robot. Huh. Huh. Hello. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Must. Eat. 
Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Ah, uh, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. <laughs> okay, Dad, number two. Or higher number. <laughs> Spoilers! Okay, before I die of hunger. Holy crap. That oh, was just more lentils. Roasted ducks? I hear you came from Scullets today. It must have been terrible there. Oh, I'm eating. I'm, dude, How did it happen? Dude, hold on. I am literally dying of starvation. Goodness, this is crazy. Okay, <laughs> I can't believe. Maybe I can cook this those two chickens that I slaughtered as well. Okay, there we go. All right. Yeah, now I'll tell you all about it. It was awful. I think I it Get seemed like any other day. Doing this? And then I God preserve. Eat from the pot. Mm. Cook item. There we go. I want to cook my chickens. I am really just passing out. Okay, Henry, we will go to sleep. Relax. We'll sleep all the way until we the whole the whole night. <laughs> the end. Oh. Today the patrols will be double. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady, uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. I think he could do with a little sleep, actually. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a servant. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. I just can't talk about it. Now go on. You might be right, my lady. 
I'll tell you what happened. She doesn't have any terrible, ulterior motives. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. Um. I went to the tavern to buy ale for father. Stick with speech, I, I know guess. it's a job for a groom, but I didn't mind. Because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while and we agreed to meet in the evening. But our meeting was never to happen. Oh dear boy. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Father and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Hmm. Hey. Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, I I had more ready to her. attack the town. <sighs> um, I guess I'm supposed to do the this one. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Scalitz. Okay, well, still, I saw them kill my girl. No, I didn't. Father told me to take shelter in the castle while didn't. he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw father and charged at him. He cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but nice I didn't wall. make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Yeah, it definitely worked the first time, too. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. A lie. Uh, oh, I have minus two. That's why. Okay, no. I wanted to help her. God knows I wanted to. Even though I had the sword we made for Sir Radzik, they had me outnumbered and they were well armed, too. And they actually knew I how only to just fight. managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. I couldn't help her any more than I could have helped my parents. It wasn't your fault. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. Yeah. That's terrible. It will. <laughs> How could something like that happen? It definitely will. God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king. 
and sought help from divisious friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. So Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. It was a very strangely personal visit, wasn't it? <laughs> and that's all he needed to make him smile. Just a little bit of lady time. Oh, no more smiles. Move it, people! Oh, come on, come on! We're running out of time! Quickly! We have to close the gates! You can't go back! Wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Go to the battlements. Okay, so, um... Hold on. I'm pretty sure there's no autosave, right? So... Uh, yeah. We need to save again. With the schnapps. The torch from the table. Okay. Because we have indeed made a lot of progress, and that, that would be really crap if I had to redo all that. Prepare for the worst. But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Skalitz. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivis sent to Skalitz to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. I'll be with you. Go! 
goes there? Lucifer and all his minions. Who else, Robert? Sir Antic. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left to storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. <laughs> I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will, and good luck to you and your people too. These are dark times. Look how good it looks, though. It's so realistic. I have to agree with Sir Radzig. This whole idea that Henry's got is very Mad, silly. <laughs> tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches. But All right, let's chat again here. Can I help? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch of the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid! And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Good luck to you. Don't I need rest? <laughs> Alright, guard duty it is for me! Keep watch on the battlements. I'm keeping watch. Good day to you. Good day? What do you think about how the Scarlet's folk managed to get away? Fortune smiled on them, that's for certain. Sigismund must be seething with rage. Just a shame Fortune didn't smile on all of them. Oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> and you know, Sir Radzik- I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. And I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. Okay, wall. Morning. Let's go! Let's go! Move it! Quick! Go! Go! Quickly! We have to do the Oh my gosh. Oh! 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 Scalitz. 
while the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack at Scarlet and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talmberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tamburg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. He's got a high charisma stat, <laughs> that's for sure. Maybe he could train us in speech. Hopefully Henry took a little lesson from that in using his words rather than his fists, just like dear old daddy said. Uh oh. Did he see him? I hope not. <laughs> So Mark Vart von Aulitz. Okay, I do not need this anymore. Let's take it. Away. Good day. I have to get to Skelets. Um, I guess I do. So Robard, I need to get to Skelets. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. 
I know, I know, but I am right. I have to bury my parents. It's a robot. My parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Did I actually sleep? Not really. <laughs> maybe I should sleep a little bit more. Oh, the game did save. Really? Does it actually save when I sleep in like a bed that I own? My respects to you. Thanks. Um, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. <laughs> and it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Well, all oh right, I should definitely not have done this right now. I don't know what his stats are, but let's just wait until we need to get rid of our debuff, and then we'll try again, see if we can make it work. Okay, we only have three, but um, we'll try that one. My mother and father were left in scallops like- I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I'll let him go. That's obvious. Mm. All right, I'll have a look around for something. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, well. But I have to say, like, I know I'm playing on the hardest possible difficulty, but it's still, like, even without that, the game gives you a good feeling of helplessness when you start. Like, you really feel like some dude that has literally zero skills of doing anything. Did somebody hear me? Ooh, a mace. I don't have a lock. I wonder if I'll need to actually rob somebody. You would be knock outable, except it probably won't work. And I will end up dying. Hello, sir. Stable master, eh? Hopefully nobody heard him. Please tell me you have something I can use on you. You have some groschen, I guess. Take that. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have much, does he? What do you think, my lady? Do I look like a Talmberg soldier? Not quite, Henry. Just look at you. Oh, I see. Well, thanks. <laughs> I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle, and your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? <sighs> my lady, I know you have a good heart. I can't live with the thought of my parents being left in the mud to be food for stray dogs. How can their souls find peace until they rest in hallowed ground? My dear boy, You'd risk your own life to give them a Christian burial? My heart goes out to you. I will do what I can to help. Though I'll tremble in fear until your return. But what can I do? If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But... But you can. If you wear a proper suit of armour, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognise you and he'll let you go. Good thinking. I know, but can you help me get the armour? <laughs> and where can I get the armor? At the armory? Where's that? In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. Oh, maybe I have to... Oh, okay. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money, and unfortunately, I don't have any. How would you? Don't worry your head about it. This should be enough. Thank you, my lady. I will repay you, I swear. 
Well, they'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujits. To ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. That sounds reasonable. Thank you, my lady. I must go now. Okay, it seems that I have options now. So maybe I don't need to get the armor? Oh. I'm not even allowed to wait. Okay. Well then, never mind. Hey. Who's that? Who's there? Hey! You! What are you doing? Fuck off! What's up? <laughs> Do you need some help? No. <laughs> I want you to come back in here, though. I was... I missed my opportunity. That would have been good. Who are you? Oh, I don't know. Okay, when he closes What's the... Up? When he gets the door, I'm Do gonna... Do you need some help? Got bellyache, have you? Oh, please, 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 please. Uh oh, I have a bounty. Uh oh. Um. Apparently, I've been spotted. So, this is about to get interesting. I don't think this is gonna work. I, in fact, I think I'm just. I think I've screwed myself, honestly. Did he see me? Maybe I have to kill him. Maybe I have to kill him and then I'll be okay. Yep, that was it. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm 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 very sorry. Uh, I'll have to dispose of his body some other time. <laughs> oh. What Henry will do. And I don't even think this is enough. I need to get out of here. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah, I see. All right then. But if you breathe a word about me to anyone. Farewell. Yes. Look out. Yes, I'm free! I only had to murder one person. <laughs> All right, let's save. Hello, fellow folks of Tomburg. This dude's gonna twitch. <sighs> very slow start, but I was expecting that. I was very much expecting that. I think the first few episodes of this playthrough are gonna be a little slow because it's just, we need to, you know, Get our Henry legs about us. Lodgings. That's what we need. Let's see how much it costs to get a proper bed. I'll be with you. For multiple nights. I can't remember. A few nights? How about if I pay you for several nights? No problem, but you pay in advance. Okay, how much? Oh, 200? I can't afford that. I think I'm gonna use the mace now. Oh yeah, we want to put Kunish's axe away and stuff. That should help free up a lot of space. If I sleep at an inn, does oh I really I can't sleep at all until I bury my parents. Dang it, Henry! <laughs> Another thing that I could try to do eventually is the tournament. Because I know you get a really good set of gear from that. And if I lose, I don't die. So I could just do that until I win. And I would probably get a lot of skills as well. I need to remember uh, to keep... I need to remember to like, you know, make note of where I am on the map. Because I don't actually have the ability to see where I am. So I need to think about it and stuff. Clearly, we're at the quarry here, so. Maybe I should have stole the horse. Is there any, if I see a horse, I'll probably steal it. Okay, grindstone. Whoa! Oh, I needed to get a horse, did I? Oops. 
think that was optional, actually. It's like they've already gone. Yeah. Sucks. Just really sucks. Jesus. Um. Well, they're dead, but they do have food. I know this is gross, by the way, but you know what? Henry's very a very very hungry boy. Oh, frick. Uh, okay. Hey, who's there? No, no one. Oh God. Uh, I forgot there was lots of bandits here. I should probably not fight them. How many shops do I have left? Three. Okay. I could try. It's just one dude though, right? I have a long ways to go before I can use that. I mean, I can fire arrows at him. Okay, I can't. I can't actually do that at all. Never mind. All right, here we go. First combat. Oh, oh god. Bring it on. Um. Apparently, I'm just ah! leaving. You asked for it. Okay, all right, we can do this. Remember our training. Okay, that was good. Oh God. Miss. Oh my gosh, I have, like... <laughs> oh. Surely I can beat this one guy. Come on. Come on, Henry. Come on. Keep going, Henry. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, he's stuck. Yes. Okay. Oh. Mm. Did you stamina in the back? Oh man, I can only swing like one time. Oh, there we go. Good hit, good hit. I should definitely be using the sword and not a means for this. Uh oh. You're going to cry now. Maybe. <laughs> Only if you actually end up killing me. <laughs> no, come on. Uh oh. Run. Okay, I thought I actually had a second. Turns out, no. There we go. 
Okay, strength, good. Oh, I can't attack more than twice, man. Okay, got him. I got him. One more time. Nope. Bollocks! Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Oh no! Ooh. Run! No! 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 Get over the fence, Henry! It's fine. Oh, boy, I really should have been using a sword. And it's also just, I have, like, Henry just sucks. And I also, I suck too. But yeah, I wonder where you get a horse to steal. Because you have to steal one. Right? So I hear, I hear all the things that you guys are saying in the comments. Don't worry. I am of a failure I am. Now I'm not living up to my own expectations, but it's okay, right? It'll be really tough in the beginning and then it will get easier as we, as we go on and we learn more skills. And even that fight did teach me a lot of stuff. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. I donate all of these things to the good dead people. All right, round two. Who's there? Let's go, you big jerk. You're in the wrong place. Uh, yow. Oh, oh, oh. And that's how things should have been. Uh huh. That's how it should have happened. What weapon did you have? A six. No, I just dropped one of those. Oh, jeez. All right, let's just pretend like that happened the first time, everybody. Sleep and save. Can't delay. You're really cramping my hardcore style here, Henry. You know, you know that. Like, I, I really need to be able to sleep and save. I wonder if it works though. Like, is it, it said oh, no auto saves. I know, it's creepy. So, so, does no auto save mean no sleep and save, even though it says you can sleep and save? I guess I'll have to test it. This whole beginning of the game though, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it's so unique. I think that's just fire on there. It's just weird embers. Hey! <laughs> no! Easy thing! Don't kill me! I have nothing! Who are you? Come back! Oh, Never mind. I ran into a bush. I can't possibly Why get did you now. Do this? What did these poor souls ever do to them? Take the bandage. Probably be needing that because. Oh, because of our horrible curse or whatever, where we bleed a lot. I should have waited to save till I got up here. Oh well. When we get to Retai, I think my first order of business, besides seeing the miller and doing that quest, is going to be going to there? get ingredients for Savior Schnapps. Hey, who's that? Is that, do you, can you, oh, is it just one guy? Let's brush him. What? Uh, uh, yep, that's the way to do it right there. Oh, no, I didn't, I, is there another guy? 
You just go really fast, and then... <laughs> and then they don't know, uh, they don't know what hit them. Okay, that might have been an upgrade there. What weapon did you have? Just a ah, regular axe. Okay. Hunter's gloves, um, not as good. Leather jerkin. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I can't be over encumbered right now because I might need to sprint. So I'm just gonna have to drop everything, it's fine. Oh green, I'm stuffed. Well I never Whoa. the pig turns up willingly for the slaughter. Uh. Uh. Ooh, stab in the face. Uh. Yeah. You don't like that, did ya? <laughs> hey, there we go. Okay, mercy kill. He's already dead. All right, that was great. Oh, and he had healing as well. Nice. Again, I think I'm going to save my perk for now. Because I don't know. I don't have a shield, really. So it's not going to be as useful. Okay. okay, maybe there's not a fight going on here. Maybe that's later. Oh. You got a good sword? I don't think that's a good sword. Pretty sure it's not. He has one gross into his name. I'll take it. Rip the bailiff. Shard. 43. Nah. There's the house that we threw poo at. Does it still have the poo? It still has the poo marks. We never got a chance to clean it off, did we? Oh, the memories. All right, mom and dad should be around here somewhere. Yeah. They're there. Why did he do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. the one who did this to you. I remember his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find the shovel and, and take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here. Under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Bothers me didn't he, that he didn't say anything to his mom. Didn't bother me before, but now it bothers me. Can loot his mom. <laughs> okay. Well, let's find a shovel. Spade. Walking all over our dead friends. Get away, you mutt! Where you beast? What's going on? 
Meshach. What in God's name are you doing? Yeah. What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mark the butcher's? <laughs> and isn't that body the butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? It's protecting him. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Mm. <laughs> do you know what happened to Teresa from the mill? When I fled, the Cumans wanted to... They meant to violate her, and God knows what else. No, I don't know. What do I care? They probably raped her and killed her like all the others. Her misfortune. Right now, I've got to take care of myself. Right. How did you get away? Mm. How did you manage to get away? How do you think I ran? Give me your spade. If you lend me that spade, I have to dig a grave. Can't find another. What's it worth to you? I see you have a fine sword. I'll gladly trade you my spade for that. How did you come by it? I'm not giving you my sword. Stick up your arse. <laughs> Fine. I'll take the spade and you can have the sword. You can have it right up your ass. Yeah. You think you can talk that way just because you've got a sword? Uh -huh. Bullshit. I don't know much about sword fighting. Suits me. I'll knock your teeth in then. Shit, shit, shit! That's right! Turn tail and run, you bastard! <laughs> he just runs away. <laughs> yeah, what a derp. Don't worry, Spizek. We will meet again. Hello, doggo. What was he trying to get? Easy there, boy. Some money? Salami? Poor puppy. You're gonna have to leave, puppy. Your master's dead. It's not, it's not gonna be much use to you. He'll leave eventually, right? Hopefully. Used to buy a side and give a bit to you. In the end, you were a hero. Run away. Gosh, Henry, you're so hard on yourself. Even he, he even gave you instructions to run away, so I... Hmm. Do I need to go all the way up to the tree? To get, oh, to get a grave first, okay. This is a good place. You're gonna like it. Will be my friend instead. I don't remember the dog following him like this before. Is this, is that added in the DLC? Damn it all. Oh. 
How am I gonna do this? I don't know. Do you need some help? <gasps> Is that him? Yes. Oh, Can't you, you see the sword? Bastard. Who are you? What do you want? Spishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. Listen here, boy. You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion, you Leave me alone. Kill him, Runt! I cut the bastard down. As you like. <laughs> Could he did say he's not running teeth. away. Ah! <laughs> One whack with that thing and you're just down. <laughs> Miss. I know. Ow. Oh. Yeah. Well, make it three wax, but yeah. We're not supposed to win. I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. <laughs> you can't even pick it up. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? And now, for the maiden bloodletting. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. No, I already killed some other bandit guy with it, so... I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. Well, I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. He's got hey, some go epic bucket. monologue. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Teresa. The games are over. some good timing. But he does have the sword. He didn't even get to bury his parents. so well made it feels like you're playing a movie or a, like a TV show or something especially the beginning bit so it's just so nice the writing is just phenomenal not to mention the music And there 
there's the doggy right there with us. We get to go here anyway. I forgot that that's how it happens. Oh. <laughs> I've forgotten so much about the game. It's crazy. I was like, I need to go to Ritai. How am I going to get there? But you just go there. Oh, right. Then we have these like crazy dreams. Do I have a sword? Oh, I do. <laughs> Dirty humans. I'll get you. Get you yet. Bleeding, I'm bleeding in my dreams. Seems about right. Do I get to keep that skill point? <laughs> Some help. You know, we'd have that debuff um, about the nightmares. It's past all right. And uh, Can you hear me? that definitely up, would be Henry, haunting. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Oh, he is not looking so good. Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Mm hmm. Uh, Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rete. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. Did you put them in the right place, though? Because it's not like I left a note. <laughs> You delirious days You're later. awake. I guess she probably found the grave. Morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. What were you doing there, yeah? What in the world were you doing in Scalit? Waiting to die. What? They... Killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead. All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. 
No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Skalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. And even later... Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? I oh, haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanisch of Leiper. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I like how they <laughs> said what a fortnight was. For, like Henry was like, two weeks. Uh, that's nice. Um, I have to get to work. Fine. But right now, I have more important things to do. That's all you have to say? After everything we've done for you? Well, do as you see fit. Well, I meant, like, that is part of the work that I have to do, but whatever. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Sorry. youngster! Yes. Come here! What's up, Peshik? I'm Henry. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. What is You've that? You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. What is that texture that I'm looking at? you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. I know. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money from. What do you say? Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught while you're doing it. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Oh, yes, I am. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wojciech, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse never read the Bible. 
It's still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? Yeah, I'll do it. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. God be with you. He gave me spirits. <laughs> okay. And now we have... All of our stuff. <laughs> Crap, I should have kept that axe. Oh no, I don't have any weapons. Fudge. Yeah, we are. Okay, yeah, it works. Okay, so if we sleep in beds we own, we can still save. So it's not all 100%. Um, schnapps, which is good. Spirits. I think I'll put those. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about what this first episode is. And then now that we have an idea of how it's going to go, I have a couple thoughts. My first thought is maybe we should just start. Maybe we should just start at zero deaths now that we're finally out of the prologue. I had forgotten the prologue was so long. And granted, I definitely could have not died that one time if I wasn't stupid. Because um, I didn't realize I couldn't use that mace yet, which caused me to lose that fight. So there are going to be a lot of dumb things that I do that result in my demise anyway. Um, I'm thinking that's one option is that we just start the death counter now. Or I just bite the bullet. Like I was going to do three deaths. Maybe I could increase it now oh. that we are. Who are you and where are you going? going? Two, I'm like, Henry, son of the Scarlet Blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? Uh, oh crap. Well, this one. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith, and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. The bugger off. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Thank you. I got speech for doing that other option, though. Which is quite nice, indeed. Speech. Final offer. When a trader loses patience with you, you get one more chance. Increase your speech by plus three when talking to nobles and wealthy. You can't have the lowborn perk. Commoners would be good for like general quests. I'm gonna go for Lowborn. I don't know if the guards are in that group, but um, it seems to me that that will be pretty useful generally. What battle? Sigismund Scott. Oh hey. Maybe so, but the land's still full of ruffians and. Hal, what are you doing here? I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. But what about you? How did you get out of Scalitz? You wouldn't believe it. A frightful storm broke that night and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Sir Ratzik would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. In the morning when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. I wish I could have seen their faces. <laughs> so do I. You trick them nicely. See you later. Yeah, good luck. The Whippensmith. Oh, hey, Kunesh. So many people died and this bastard has to survive. <laughs> I see you survived. He's so rude. Aren't you observant? You still owe me, you jerk. You still owe me? Don't think I've forgotten. I don't owe you. I owe your father. And he's dead. So get out of here. Oh. You crap. 
Do you really want to make me angry? Do you really think that's wise? No, I don't. That's right. Fine. I owe you. And what am I supposed to do about it? You think you'll get anything from me? Look at what I've got. But maybe I could. Maybe I could tell you where you can find some money. If you forgive my debt, that is. All right. All right, then. Start talking. No. First, I want you to swear you won't be demanding anything else from me. Very well, then. Talk. When we were running from Scalettes, I heard something. I don't know who said it. It's a miracle I could even hear it in that chaos. Either way, somebody hid a lot of coin under a dove cut. <laughs> under a dove cut? There it is. And that's it? That's all I know. How many dove cuts could there be in Scalettes? There's a lot, actually. If you've got the guts to go back there, you're bound to find it. Fine. We'll see. I will be going back eventually. I was thinking I'll probably do some live streams of this as well. Just for like the slow bits. Maybe for some like potion making, some grinding of the dudes. Or so they say, you know. I dunno, about repairs. How much is it? Repairs are more expensive. Hagel. <laughs> so expensive. <laughs> Let's have a word about the price. I don't think I can mm, afford it, dude. Right, so. Oh, yeah, there's there's no way. I'm going to need to repair my own stuff. Oops, sorry. I did. Yeah, it's not my fault. I need something that I can use with zero yeah, yeah, abilities. Yeah, no. Uh, let's see. The crappy he has a treasure map. That prior two oh, Okay, I can use the villager's ash bow. Cost 99. And I have zero. Oh, I have zero money? Did I forget to take the money out of the box? Yeah. We're in for a long haul here. It is going to be a long and cozy and uh, nice and immersive playthrough, I think, of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Thank you guys so much for your comments and for your eyeballs. And I'll see you very soon for another episode of King Kong Deliverance. Until then, stay cheesy, everybody.